what's going on everybody rob here aka trev 2323 so it's that time of the year again i've done some videos about the shrink wrap already we shrink wrapped it at cabela's kind of didn't like the way they did it this year but they did do something else they wrapped the swim platforms but this isn't about the, this is about the trailer how much store in the trailer i kind of made a little error before error first right this right here i never covered this or treated this with uv protectant and you see this little section right here is dry rotting from the sun from it being in the sun all the time we had a grill cover and the sun dry rotted and cracked the grill cover right so these tires right here will disintegrate over time so you do have to protect them but if you leave them in the sun they're gonna dry out faster so i'll probably just spray that with spray wax okay but this is the important thing right here i have the boat itself jacked up see it's a, those are rubber brackets on the top of it and you see there's no rust really almost no rust underneath that and it's jacked up this is a runabout now so this is a runabout right it's about 2100 pounds shrink wrapped and it's on jacks with the tire covers now the tires ain't even on the ground or barely okay so they're almost completely off the ground so they don't get dry spots on them and then they're covered so the sun doesn't dry rot it out so that tire is just dangling it gets to breathe because the whole back's not covered all right but it's off the ground and then there's a brick in the front and the brick in the back if anything fails it's not gonna roll on me it's not gonna roll on me if anything fails all right so this one is up on bricks also I'm just gonna treat this one with uh with, actually it's a spray car wax that I treat them with to try to protect it now this been treated before it's like been four years in the sun now and this has been treated before with undercoating you see you see the little undercoating so little by little this drains inside and comes through here so I could just clean that off but I'm doing the last little bit right here uh, let me get under here so you see I have the jack it's a three ton jack underneath the frame the jack stand with the block and then these little blocks right here so if even if it's sitting on this block it's not sitting on the ground and it's not gonna dry rot if you leave this tire in that dirt you're lessening the lifespan of your tire i have the brick right there and the brick right there because if it drops it's not gonna roll front or backwards also I'm trying to alleviate the flat spot. I don't want a flat spot on the tire because if you just leave it sitting on the tires over the winter time, we're gonna get a flat spot. They put down my swim platform this year, right? There's a breathing tube right there, right? The air breathers right there. But they're pitched this way, but this is a little bit flatter. So if those weren't pitched this way, I could have leaned the frontwards and the snow would have came off. So I think I'm going to have some problem with the snow. This is pretty, pretty solid stuff though. But what they did for me is the whole bottom is under a shrink wrapped. This way I was worried about the rodents because if you have pillows in here and you have shelter in here and the rodents can access it from underneath where the motor is and the swim platforms, they may eat your seats and they're gonna live in your boat. So that was one, one important thing that I, I did emphasize that I want that shrink wrapped. Although without this tower right here, it says $20, foot per, $20 per foot of shrink wrap and they took that down, 20, 40, 60, 80. They could have saved me $100 in shrink wrap just by putting a swim platform down. But to have the angle and the pitch, I would rather pay that $100. Either way, that's questions to ask. All right, talk to you later. Subscribe, like, and share.